Hello, I'm State Representative Wade Williams. I represent District 4, which encompasses all of Hopkins County. Thank you for allowing me to join you today in a virtual way. I'm a firm believer in starting a business, not to only to make money, but to make a difference in our communities. Mark Twain once said, the secret to getting ahead is getting started. Success doesn't come from what you do occasionally, it comes from what you do consistently. As your representative, I take my role in furthering our communities and our state to an economic scale to heart. Continuing to craft measures geared towards hardworking Kentuckians is a focal point for so many of us here. I enjoy staying involved in discussions relating to a thriving Kentucky businesses and entrepreneurships. As you know, the General Assembly is currently in an odd year session, and we are set to adjourn sine die by March 30th. Though it's a short year, the House majority is still committed to making Kentucky the 21st century's place to live, work, and raise a family while preserving the values and traditions that make us who we are. Our approach to state spending is simple. These are taxpayer resources and must be invested responsibly in ways that will pay off for future generations. We only get one chance to spend a dollar. One of the first bills to become law was House Bill 1. I'm very proud to say that was my first vote on the House floor. House Bill 1 lowers the state income tax to 4% as of January 2024 and is the next step in our efforts to eliminate the individual income tax. Economists anticipate this cut will leave more than $600 million in the paychecks of working Kentuckians. This legislation allows Kentuckians to decide to invest, save, or spend their money and makes the state more competitive. This bill represents the next step in the House Majority's commitment to growing the state's economy by making the state's tax code more attractive for working Kentuckians and individuals considering starting a business in or relocating to Kentucky. We have major challenges, but also incredible opportunities. Kentuckians deserve a government that will put them first and helps them realize their potential. It's no secret that our economy was weakened by the COVID-19 pandemic. Unemployment peaked, production dropped steeply, Several businesses lost months of income, some even closed permanently due to the effects of the mandated shutdowns and social distancing. Today, we're still dealing with those shortages, both labor and in supply. However, our economy is coming back and I believe it has the potential to be stronger than ever. We've not only had several major economic development announcements, but we continue to see state revenue grow and have more than 150,000 available jobs. Now we must ensure Kentuckians are ready, willing, and capable of filling those positions. Many of you know firsthand the impact of the labor shortages. Job openings run the gamut from skilled repairmen to healthcare workers to classroom educators. We are committed to identifying ways to help recruit and retain a talented workforce. Our efforts will continue to be aimed not only at improving educational opportunities and access to training, but also ensuring that public assistance programs designed to help people in need haven't become the barrier to entering the workforce. Right now, only six of 10 people who could be and should be working are. We've got to get people into jobs. As we have said when we talk about becoming more competitive in terms of tax reform, we're not just talking about creating jobs. We're talking about competing for skilled, talented workers Using a tax code as a workforce recruiting and retention tool is now possible because of the work we have done. With less than two weeks left to consider legislation this session, you're going to see us do more work to make our state the best place to build a life. It's an honor to represent you all here in Frankfurt, and I look forward to continuing our work, making efforts to better our Commonwealth with common sense legislation. Again, thank you for allowing me to join you today.